good morning. It is after the new year and well for you guys it is the day after Christmas today and so it's kind of just gonna be one of those home days. Let's do some home maintenance, keeping of the home, homemaking, life with kids as a mom of three littles. We had some snow yesterday on Christmas. We didn't go anywhere. We stayed home because there was freezing rain snow it was just a beautiful christmas um, to celebrate jesus's birth so i want to do a little bit of housekeeping things like clean our sink drain with baking soda and vinegar um of course laundry because i didn't do it yesterday on christmas keep that going um just some other things i'm gonna keep my christmas decor up for a little while so you won't be seeing me undecorate for a little while I'm not sure, I have a lot of greens going on, so I won't probably be taking that down for a little while. Although I do love starting the new year with a clean slate. But we'll see how long I wanna keep all of my winter Christmas decor up. Cause I will change out to like more wintry decor, but who knows what I'll do with my tree. I love the lights and the glow of all the lights I have around my house, as many of you have seen before. But I'm gonna just do some of that. I need to make some phone calls, do some scheduling of appointments. It's just one of those days where I just need to continue life and conquer things. And right now I can hear, I need to go get a little boy up from bed. So I will be doing that. And then I will get going and share my day with you today with all of my homemaking. On a day where I want to get a lot done, there's always still the regular routine of home maintenance and care of the spaces. So it is the sheets day, so stripping all my sheets and putting some fresh ones on. And while I have the sheets off, what better time than to clean off my ceiling fan and the light. And I'm going to do that in my girls' room as well. And of course they had to get on the bed too because mom's standing on the bed, why can't I stand on the bed? So just getting those tasks done that I needed to get done. I love the finished look of a made bed and mine is nothing fancy. I don't even have larger top pillows, but it's just so nice to get it made. And my girls, I was kind of being sneaky, but they were taking their sheets off and getting their beds unmade too, which is always so wonderful to see. And we found lots of treasures under the toddler bed, some ponytails, some um, little toys and then I did wipe it down a little bit but today wasn't a day to do their room cleaning in particular like the whole room so I just picked a few things up and did a little bit of wiping and remade her bed while um, the oldest was still working on taking the sheets off and like I said then it was time to do her or their ceiling fan and get the cobwebs off of there, get all the dust bunnies that fall, and it's just so satisfying to wipe it with the rag and see all that gunk that comes off. So I guess I just noticed, I finally looked in the mirror, I have a little bit of dust from the ceiling fans on my head. Anyway, I'll get that cleaned off here. I'm gonna read to the girls and put Elias down for his nap, and then we'll probably do a little bit more deep cleaning. We'll I have to clean outside. the light, I have to clean the light in the kitchen. We're not gonna go outside yet, it's gonna be a little bit too chilly right now, and a little icy. We'll wait till it warms up a bit. 
Okay, we had some time reading and now I'm gonna actually clean this kitchen light. It's shining nice and bright. It is a very bright light, like it's very bright. Um, but it has bug spotters on it and bug guts on the light bulbs and I just need to take care of cleaning it because I haven't done that since like when all the bugs come out in the fall time. So I'm gonna do that right now while the girls are cooking with their play food. I gotta just show you this dirty film. I don't know if you can quite see it, but it is just, oh, there you go. That's a better angle. Grimy, and I'll show you what it looks like after. It definitely needs a good cleaning. Let's check the lights out. So actually a couple weeks ago, I cleaned out the fridge and defrosted the freezer, like a giant clump like this was stuck on the bottom. So it took a little extra work using the blow dryer to get it all melted. And I was able to wipe it all down and just move some things that didn't need to be in this freezer to our deep freeze in our garage. So I did a good deep clean of that, which I am very grateful for because I need to do that more often. I do it probably every six months and it needs to happen probably every two months. That way that ice buildup doesn't happen so badly. And then I cleaned behind the fridge and vacuumed behind it, vacuumed up the vent of the fridge and you know, those home maintenance things that need to be done that are kind of like uh, not as enjoyable, <laughs> but they're so satisfying when they're done. Baking soda and vinegar are one cleaning or two cleaning products that I always keep on hand. I bought this big baking soda bulk bag from Amazon. You can find them anywhere truly. And I always keep a couple gallons of vinegar and apple cider vinegar in my pantry for cleaning, for just all sorts of things. Okay, while I let the baking soda vinegar water sit in here for a little bit, I'll get some hot water boiling to put down it. I'm gonna clean up above here cause it's got some grime on top of the cupboards on top of the microwave area. dishwasher I've used these once without dishes in it you can do it with dishes so I'm gonna try that um, it's called a fresh I just ordered it off of Amazon I'm sure you can get it at Walmart or anywhere so I'm just gonna put these in the very bottom this little tablet put it in the very bottom it says down there, I'll double check. If you have it without dishes, you put it in there. But then I'm gonna put my little dishwasher pod in here. And then I will run that. 
I'm just on a roll in the kitchen. So now I'm gonna do in between these cracks here. My husband and I did it three months ago, but so much food grime gets stuck in the cracks of the table that we had to take a razor blade to it. It was like the grossest thing and it just all like crumble on the floor. I should have had footage of that. This one won't be quite so bad, but with little kids and even wiping the table, like there's just grime in here, Play-Doh, food, you know, from months ago. So I'm gonna try to pull this apart and get this leaf, well, yeah, get this leaf cleaned and this other one as well so that I can make it a little bit cleaner and I just feel better about not having all that gross junk in there. Alright, let me just show you all that grime along there. Just got to clean that up on that side. It's all over on that side. So then after this, it means I probably need to clean the floor off. <laughs> Here we go. So all this gross, crummy stuff on the floor. You can't really see it. I need to get all that. But it was so satisfying to get all that stuff off in between the cracks. All right, so I had to have my husband help me push the table back together when he came home for lunch. And then I got a little bit more things done. Just some... <laughs> little tasks I was putting off like retaping a rip in our chair with some black tape and our fridge door comes off on the bottom so I retaped that because it was looking just gross and um, didn't it would get pulled off so I just taped that with some black electrical tape and so now I'm gonna clean our Berkey water filter so I need to clean the black in our parts and um, get that done because it's supposed to be done every six months have we done that no so i'm gonna take some time to do that my hair is a mess it's fallen out um but that's okay kiddos are down for some quiet time here for a little bit um and then actually we will be gone for the rest of the day so maybe i'll make this a two-day video or when we come back in the evening i'll finish up a few projects either way i'm gonna get going on that berkey sometimes i wonder why i wait so long to do a pretty quick cleaning task like cleaning the water filter filters because it just took probably 15 minutes total, so it was not very difficult. I scrubbed it off with a, I wanna say it was a bamboo brush, um, so a softer cloth club scrubbed those black filters and then rinsed out the inside basin and washed it with a light soap. And then I made sure to dry it and then got it refilled. So it really did not take a lot of time. And that's often things with tasks that we don't want to do. They don't take as long as we really expect. If we just get it done, don't get distracted, and just get the task finished. So with the new year here, I hope you were encouraged to get some of your tasks done around the house that you have been putting off, that you can just take the time that you have in each day to get something done and um, feel good about what you have accomplished. <laughs> 